a 47 liter aircraft V12 mounted on a fire truck chassis from 1907. This is Brutus, built by a group from the Technikmuseum Sinsheim. This beast utilizes a BMW 6 aircraft engine with a power output of 750 horsepower at 1700 rpm and 2600 newton meters of torque. These engines were produced from the 1920s into the 1930s and were used in many different aircraft types, from aircraft manufacturers like Heinkel, Arado and Dornier. The engine was also produced under license by Kawasaki in Japan and by Mikulin in the Soviet Union, where it was used as a tank engine. It was also used in the Schienenzeppelin, a propeller-driven railcar. The BMW 6 was developed based on the BMW 4 six-cylinder inline engine, basically adding a second bank with six more cylinders in a 60-degree angle. A unique design feature here is the use of master and slave connecting rods. Instead of having all connecting rods directly attached to the crankshaft, the connecting rods of the left cylinder bank are attached on top of the master connecting rods of the right cylinders. As a result of this design, the cylinders on the left bank have a smaller displacement of 3.82 liters each, where the cylinders on the right bank have 4 liters each. Brutus weighs around 2.5 tons and has a fuel consumption of 70 liters on 100 kilometers. The power from the engine is transferred to the rear axle via these two massive chains. The body is made from wood and fabric. There is no firewall. The driver is sitting directly behind the engine. It has a 3-speed transmission and a known top speed of 200 km an hour. Its full theoretical top speed is not known since no one dares to go faster. No matter at what speed you hit the gas pedal, the narrow tires will spin. The car is crazy dangerous and constantly tries to kill its driver. The chassis is equipped with leaf springs. There are no shock absorbers. Of course, there is no real silencer on the exhaust. These are the tires before and after half a day of driving displays at the Brasiltag event at the museum in Speyer. There was a great variety of other vehicles, but Brutus was definitely the star of the show. You can find links to the museum's websites in the video description. Alright guys, thanks for watching, until next time.